Okay, welcome to another video. So today we're gonna be cooking up and creating a vibe here in the studio today. I feel like cooking up something super deep as usual. So feel free to follow along, open your DAW if you want to. And if you want to follow my steps or just vibe out with me, you can definitely do that and just follow along. But let's create a vibe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my tempo. So we have a nice, good tempo and I think I'm feeling like 120, but I feel like something may be a bit faster this time, maybe a 122. I think a 122 is kind of okay. It's kind of pushing it in the deep house kind of genre, but I think a 122 is okay. I want something that's a bit faster today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this chord here. And I'm just gonna drop it here. I like this chord here, so I'm going to go ahead and record that. So I'm going to turn on my metronome like that. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to quantize that, make sure my velocities are good. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, since this is a wave, uh, I'm going to need to add some effects to it. So I'm going to send this to a mixer track right here, and I'm going to throw on an effector on it. And I think I'm going to use the trans preset here, and I think I'm going to play around with it. Let me... Just add that wobble, the, you know, the, the, just that little wobble there. So without it sounds like this. It just sustains all the way, but I like to add a little bit of, a little bit of wobble, and after that, I think I can add some reverb to it. It's actually started to rain. <sighs> I think that wobble is adding some really nice character to these chords. I think what I can add now is maybe a few drums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new pattern right here and I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to go into my hats. I'm going to drop that one there and I'm going to put these here. And I'm going to add this other layer of hats here. Okay, I like what I'm doing with those hats there. And I think I'm gonna open this graph editor here and I'm just gonna drop down the velocity of this hat right here. Just like that, just to add a, a little bit of a nice groove to it like that. And I'm gonna go back to these chords and I'm just gonna drop down these effects and I'm gonna add a parametric EQ2. And I think I just need to take out a little bit of the low frequencies here. So I'm just gonna high pass a little bit. Cause I can hear that the chords are doing, they have a, like too much low end information that I just needed to take out. I think that sounds better. That sounds so much better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a morphine right here and I'm going to throw in something maybe, let's see what I can throw in. Ooh, 
I think the sound is super dope. I'm just gonna add that sound there. So I'm gonna record it in. Just like that. Sometimes it's okay to not overcomplicate like notes because the more you overcomplicate them, if you don't really know what you're trying to do, you might end up just making it sound super cheesy and super overdone. Okay, so I'm going to make this repeat. So I don't want it to be too loud. I just made it super soft so that it's not too loud. So now I'm going to go and drop in another. Okay, let me give Sar a chance and just drop it in here. Let's see what I can throw in there. Okay, I found a preset that's cool called... I found a preset called Popstar that I'm going to throw in. I think I'm just going to play it like that. Super nice and simple. I'm going to record it in. Nice. I think that's cool. So I'm going to make sure I add it in like that. And this is coming along, bro. Ooh, that sounds nice. That sounds fire already. Okay, so I think I can actually automate the cut off of the sound like that so that it can build up and I think what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this maybe like that and throw in an automation clip right here like that and I want it to build up so that <laughs> Yo, this is coming along nicely, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in another flex. Wait, have, have, have I used a Okay, I haven't actually haven't used the flex yet. <laughs> Let me go ahead and throw in a flex. And I'm gonna go into my favorites. <laughs> throw in that sound here that sounds super nice that just up the level of the like the, of the quality of this beat okay so I'm gonna record it in So what I'm noticing is that the harder I play them, the more aggressive it sounds like. But if I play it softer, it sounds cool. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So it kind of builds up as it's going, you know? Okay, maybe that's a, a bit much. Let me start here by 50%. And bring it up. Ah, that sounds good, bro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it play at the second section here. So I'm going to copy all of this over like that. After I copy this over, it's gonna, I'm going to make sure that it plays there. So I'm going to go into my SFX because I want it to transition. 
I think I like that, so it can just transition like that. Okay, right here I think I want to add this sound here. Okay, so I think right here by the builder, by the transition section here, that's where I want the the open hat to start playing so that it kind of builds up the energy there. Okay, now let's see if we can throw in some bass. I think some bass would be nice for this. And I usually like to pick my basses from Flex. So I'm gonna go into Flex and I'm gonna drop it in here. What the hell just happened? Did it just crash right now? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Out of bounds, how? What? And I wasn't even saving, bro. What the hell? If I say, okay, what happens? <laughs> Oh, no, bro. Okay, okay, let me say, okay. Okay, S seems we can continue. Okay, fine. But is my flex gonna work, though? Oh, no, I c it doesn't work. Okay, maybe it's, I, I can actually save. Let me save, let me save quickly. Oh, yes, I can save, I can save. What the hell? What am I gonna call this? <laughs> Crashed Deep House. Boom. Okay, cool, cool. Let me just close the thing and restart it and then we can add the bass. Open it again. Hopefully the FLP is not gonna be corrupted. Come on, come on, baby, come on. There we go, it works, it works. Okay, we're back in business. <laughs> wow, of all my days, bro. Bass is gonna be sweet, man. The bass is gonna be sweet. Okay. This is like revenge bass for crashing, bro. Okay, let me record that. Okay, so I just kind of had fun like right here at the end there just to kind of make the bass a little bit different just to add some variation let me know what you think about that section there but I think it came out really cool I think I like it, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this right here and I think this section here is maybe gonna come through right here so that it repeats like that. Okay, so the bass preset I'm using is called Lucky Pluck. Now time to throw in a kick. Wait, we're missing a clap. I totally forgot that we were missing a clap. Okay, let me try this one here. The sound here. Okay, I think maybe I can layer it with this clap because I like how this has kind of like a pre sound going on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift it a little bit in time. So I'm gonna go into the notes like this. Okay, let me make sure I select the section here. That kind of works. Might be a hit or a miss, but you let me know what you think down below. Is that clap working for you? Or maybe should I try something else? Let me try something that hits a bit harder. Thank you. 
You know what? I think I like this one better. Okay, I think this came out super dope. If you haven't subscribed right now to this channel, make sure to subscribe down below for more videos and sessions like this. And let me know what you think about the beat so far. And I'm just gonna add some color to all of this. And then we just listen to the whole thing. But I did send most of this stuff to the mixer. So I would obviously have to do some arrangement and do some mixing afterwards. But let's just listen to it and just write it out. Let's jam to it. Mm -hmm. 